Hello from the Vegan Dancer Girl. So my travel adventures have taken me from Berlin, Germany to Northern Ireland after a brief little one week trip I had in London recently. So greetings from Malail, a little coastal town in Northern Ireland. So it's a horrible wet rainy day, but I am going to venture out in search of some vegetable goodness from a local market. So with my diet, I am sadly going to have to cut fruit out of it. Not altogether, but just limited. I'm not going to be raw till four anymore. It's going to be very starch based and I'm going to try and eat a ton more, you know, leafy greens and vegetables. Not the happiest about this, but the accessibility for fresh, ripe, fruity produce here is just non-existent. So it's day four, I'm already struggling kind of having to have porridge, oatmeal and rice for breakfast but I'm going to hang in there for the next seven and a bit weeks because after this I get to flee to amazing Thailand for three weeks before I return home to Australia. So for anyone going to fruit winter, let me know. And for anyone else that's kind of had to change their diet for whatever reason, you know, give me um, your story and the reasons why. So personally, it's just for accessibility reasons here, but also I thought it would be a good test just to see what happens to my skin. My skin went horrible from the moment I went high carb basically, Christmas Eve last year, and just continued to get steadily worse when I transitioned to fully raw, and then when I shifted back to raw till four this year while on the go, on the move, traveling across Europe. So I'm just gonna make the most of the situation I'm in, do my best and just see what happens experimenting with eating a ton more vegetables, leafy greens and a lot of starches. So some delicious carob cinnamon vanilla date porridge with hazelnut milk. Overcast day. I was on my way to get the bus to go to like a nearby town to grab some, you know, epic food. Uh, it hasn't turned up yet so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. That is the beach down there, but it's not really beach weather. So I might have to stay rubbed up in bed and, you know, get what I can from the local tiny little thing that doesn't really have any organic stuff. Coast off Malile, I'm sure it is beautiful in the summertime. So I finally managed to get a bus over to the nearby town of Newtown Ards, where I went back to this little fruit shop that I was taken to on my last visit here back in September. So let's see what I found inside. Four Sharon fruit or persimmons for £2.50 and a big huge tasty bunch of locally grown kale for £1.25 that I then proudly carried through the street. So just hoeing into some sweet potato and regular potato mash on top of some steam kale with some fresh kale as well. The steam kale is the black stuff and the fresh stuff is just the green you see here. And here's a gloriously wonderful sunset view I had to enjoy my dinner with. So yoga is possible even in half finished freezing houses. You just create a lovely little space and enjoy. A marching band street parade I was interrupted with one morning. Homemade sushi with sweet potato, avocado, sweet corn, green onion and carrot and cucumber fillings. So, hello from rainy Northern Ireland as usual. Yep. That's the weather outside. I've been procrastinating all day. Supposed to be in the tattoo studio, kind of helping out and just hanging around. But feeling kind of ultra, uh, just meh. I don't know, lack of vitamin D or sun or something. So I've just had like a wasteful day, just not wanting to do anything, go anywhere. But yeah, hopefully it's all back to normal tomorrow. Just could be down to eating a lot more cooked food. My body's not used to that lack of sun, the cold weather, and the rain. So it's been an interesting few days this week, but I'm hanging in there. We lunch, rye bread, spinach, tomatoes, and other freezing but I'm braving being outdoors. So on a food hall expedition in Newtown Ards or Ards as all the Northern Irelanders call it and and 
I went to this little store called Homegrown. I got five persimmons. He only charged me for two. And I picked up this whole box of bananas. And it cost me about $7.70 in total. So pretty good. But now we have to carry it to Tesco's where I'm going to get some spuds and kale and other things like that. So, just had a lovely Skype date with Joe Best for Best Transformation. He's based in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And it looks like I am going to live in his new fruity house from the new year. So, super excited about that. Just here, my friend's kitchen, gonna whip up some baked potatoes, hopefully like a pizza. And I might even try this banana jam that the little um, produce store I picked up the box of bananas from gave me. It's kind of like banana, sugar, I'm not sure what I'll do about that one some lemon and lime zest and it is a cooked thing so maybe I'll just create my own thing but it's rather nice of them yeah might go on a little walk outside as well so stay tuned for 188 Wednesday Q&A my recent travel adventures and lots more videos coming to you soon don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave your comments and questions below.